Dwight Hammond and his son Stephen admitted they set the fires, but said they were trying to burn out invasive plant species on their own property and the flames accidentally spread onto federal land. Each has already served several months in prison for the fires, but a judge has ordered them to return to prison Monday for up to four years additionally, saying the original sentences were insufficient under federal laws. I'm going to jail for five years for 127. I, seems like a bit of an overkill. The Hammonds have agreed to return to prison, but the new sentencing has sparked anger among ranchers and farmers across the U.S. West who believe the government is taking too much land, undermining the livelihood of the people who depend on it. We have tried and tried to try the prudent methods to, to get government to at least look at this and, and say, hey, there's something wrong here. Out-of-state ranchers Ammon Bundy and his brother Ryan led about 100 people to take over the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge in Oregon on Saturday. The armed militia says it wants the federal government to return the refuge to local ranchers from whom it claims the land was taken. It is the duty of the people to put that government back in its place. The Bunty brothers and their father Cliven, a Nevada rancher, were involved in a standoff with the government over grazing rights two years ago. Local residents support the rancher's cause but object to an armed intervention. There are proper channels to go through and bringing in a militant view, saying we're going to rise up if we don't get our way, we're going to use armed resistance, that's just not right. The FBI is trying to resolve the standoff peacefully, but local authorities have closed nearby schools as a precaution. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.